Hey, it's Robert with Clean Pool and Spa, and today I'm going to talk about your pool valves, what they do and what they are. Now, filtration and circulation of your pool water is the key to maintaining a healthy body of water, and it keeps it free from debris and contaminants. Now, if the pool water didn't flow through the filter, your pool water would start to look like a swamp. Now, pool valves help with this process to keep everything moving in the right direction. And for this application, we're going to look at the most common types of valves. And they are multiport valves, diverter valves, check valves, and valve actuators. Multiport valves are found on most SAN and DE filters. This type of valve has a handle on top and allows you to turn it to the setting of your choice, such as filter, and backwash, and rinse. I made another video that walks you through using your multiport valve, and I'll go ahead and leave the link below. Next, we're going to head on over to the diverter valve. This valve allows you to divert or redirect the water flow from one area of the plumbing system to another. Now, we have two types of diverter valves, and the first one that we're going to look at is called the two-way valve shown here. These controls are plumbed in from both sides of the valve and lets the water flow to or from just one port. You'll have full water flow when the valve handle is perpendicular with the plumbing line. Or you can choose a partial on or off water flow. The most common brand for these types of valves is called a Jandy valve. Pantera also makes a really good two-way valve. I'd like to touch on something quickly here. It's really handy when we mark the plumbing for the skimmer, bottom drain, and all the other suction ports. That way we know which valve we're turning and for what reason. Now clearly this is not the best example, uh, this is just the one that I had, but as you can see, they are clearly marked. This is the return side, and we can see here it says return, and waterfall, and spa. Marking these really takes the guesswork out of our pool valves. Now the next valve we're going to look at is called a check valve. And in my opinion, check valves are one of the most important valves to have. Now, in effect, these valves are installed to prevent the backflow of water. When the pump motor turns off, there's nothing to stop the water from flowing backwards. To stop this from happening, a check valve should be installed. Water features such as fountains and waterfalls and other similar features should have a check valve installed. Now the next type of valve is called a valve actuator, and that's a mechanical device that used a power source to operate the valve. The power source is electrical and is normally about 24 volts for most pools. Pool valve actuators are used to provide an automated push button command to one or more of the diverter valves in your pool's water flow system. You can install the valve actuator on top of the diverter valve and hardwire the actuator into your pool's control box. If you need to redirect the water flow, simply flick the switch and it's done for you. This can save a lot of time and frustration. It's really a simple set it and forget it piece of equipment. And the next type of valve is called a three-way valve. It's very similar to a two-way valve, only this one gives you a little more flexibility. A three-way valve has one inlet and two outlets. This lets you partially or fully close off one end of the valve while allowing the other two ports to remain open. These types of valves can be used to partially or fully turn the bottom drain or skimmer off through one port or the other. And the last valve that we're going to look at is called a ball valve, which is very similar to a two-way diverter valve. It allows you to redirect the water flow from one area of the plumbing system to the other. When the valve is parallel with the plumbing like this one, the water flow is open. And when the valve is perpendicular with the plumbing line like this one right here, it means the water flow is off or it's restricted. So in this illustration on the suction side of the system, the main drain is closed, the skimmer is partially open, and the suction side cleaner is fully open. And one really important piece of advice, always turn your pump motor off before turning any valves. So there you have it, a quick rundown of your pool valves. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if this helped you out. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.